I first become concerned about my child right after she was born because she's born very small and then she has no sense of pain, no sense of emotion, um, couldn't eat solid food at all and completely nonverbal, um, couldn't walk at all until like three years. I was back in Vietnam back then, and I lived within the family household with grandparents, and um, traditionally, um, all the grandparents just said, like, that's fine, she was born healthy, she was born with two arms and eyes, no worries, she would catch up with time. And then every year, my grandparents on both sides always just go to the fortune teller, and say, like, it's just her fate, that she just go through this. And then when she's eight years old, she would talk. When she's nine years old, she would talk. Because every year they go, and every year they would add up a new age for her with the hope that she can talk by then. But nothing happened. In Vietnam, we don't have any specialists, per se. The doctor that we go is just like one doctor for everything. For her not being able to talk, what they say is just catch the carp, a kind of fish, and give the tongue to the child to eat as many as possible and then down the line she can talk. And then for her not being able to walk, then again catch another kind of fish and nap that into the knee and she would be able to walk later on. No worry, there's no therapy, nothing at all. However, my instinct would be like, no, it must be something until like she's um, three years and a half and at that time I could have a chance to go to the U.S. and then yes, that, that would be the time then I say, she has to have something going on, which we might not know. So I hope that having the advanced uh, medical care in the U.S. might help me to really help her and really <sighs> understand what's going on with her. Thank you.